Good morning guys and welcome back. So today we're doing a two year review of the Rhino Rack Backbone System for the Jeep JK. Now this will pretty much be exactly the same for the JR. There's a few minor differences but the workmanship and how long it's actually lasted and how well I would actually review it. It's probably the same for the JL to be fair. Uh, this will also be the same for the two door JK and we've got the four door JK. Now we're lucky enough that when we actually bought the Jeep, the Rhino Rack Backbone System was already on the Jeep. So that was a massive bonus for us uh, when we're looking at buying the JK because they are pretty expensive um, and I really wanted a roof rack so the Rhino Rack Backbone System would have been on the list of one of the ones I would have bought if it wasn't on the Jeep already. So this is a two year review, uh, we'll be going over a few of the benefits and disadvantages of the rack, um, how we found it over the last two years and how it's actually held up. So the first thing is price, they are fairly expensive. Now just for the uh, full backbone system inside the Jeep uh, and the three plates is $599 and that's not including the racks which we've got two racks and you can also get like the uh, Pioneer platform which is the flat rack that actually sits across the entire Jeep um, which would be awesome. We're trying to find a second hand one but we can't so $599. They're fairly expensive um, for what they are but the quality of the rack is second to none. I've seen a lot before that um, kind of mount to the back of the Jeep like uh, to these hinges then bolt onto the rain gutters. Now they kind of work if you're not really we don't really have a big payload if you're not wanting to take a lot of weight um, and for us we weren't taking a lot of weight uh, as you can see we've got the shovel we've got the uh, extra tracks mounts up there for the recovery boards and we pretty much just hold a paddle board up there so not a lot of weight which is fine um, but the accessibility of the actual rhino rack itself how you can mount so many different things to the, the rack we've got the shovel holder up there you can mount lights to the ends of them uh, you can do the recovery tracks. If you've got the Pioneer platform, uh, you can mount so many different things for them. They're just so usable. Um, and one of the biggest things I really like about it as well, as you can see, these three different plates um, along the side of the Jeep. You can actually adjust, if you've just got the racks, we've only got two, you can have three. Or you can just adjust uh, where you, can, you want these to sit, whether you want them sitting in the middle like we do, or you want them a bit further apart, or you can mount the whole platform to it, whatever you want which is really not nice. I really like that usability of it and they're super strong. Things you gotta think about when buying one of these uh, running rack platforms is the payload. Now the weight on road, so when you're driving about 100 kilometers an hour, the weight that the uh, rack itself can take. So you might have a rooftop tent, say a spare tire, something like that up on top. But how much can that actually rack take when driving down the motorway? Now the runner rack can hold I reckon hold 119 kilos while driving this 10 k's now. I'm gonna hold 119 kilos of weight. So it's a decent amount of weight up there um, and off-road, so when you're articulating, um, the Jeep's landing and stuff, they reckon amount off-road use, uh, 79 kilos. So that really drops back a lot. I know it's a bigger platform, uh, but it really does drop back if you're carrying a little bit more weight. Um, now the static weight, so if you've got a rooftop tent on, um, if you've got a rooftop tent on and it's say 100 kilos for the tent, maybe a little bit less, then you've got you and your missus up there, maybe the kids. Now the static weight of, the weight of that with just not moving still with the camp, like with the rooftop tent is 339 kilos. So it's quite a lot of weight you can actually put up there at it as a static weight. Um, well, I weigh what, 70 kilos, my wife is 60 kilos and the rooftop tent is, I don't know, 120 kilos, 100 kilos, something like that. So there's definitely a lot of weight you can put up on the rack. Not so much when you're driving down the motorway, obviously aerodynamics, uh, it's a lot more drag and stuff on the actual rack itself. So do keep that in mind when you're looking for a rack. Um, and if you're looking for a rack as well, uh, as I said before, the ones that actually bolt into like the gutters and stuff like that, that's gonna be a lot less. Um, Cause all this is is fiberglass um, on the actual roof. So you are looking at the ones that actually just bolt into the uh, channel itself. They are kind of useless for holding weight. That's why the Rhino Rack is such a good system. Because if you go inside the Jeep, it's actually bolted in underneath everything in there. Then as you saw on the back, it's bolted all through there. It's actually weighted through the bottom of the channel of the Jeep there. Um, and you've got three different sections that you can place a lot of weight on. Rather than just the flimsy ones that you just kind of bolt into the fiberglass itself. Put it on the truss those if you are running a lot of weight. Um, the Rhino Rack is definitely a lot better, a lot sturdier, and well built quality. Now, for how long it's actually, like how well it's actually lasted over the time, 
Now, I don't know how long this has actually been on the Jeep for this, because this could have been on the Jeep for two plus years, or five years before we even bought the thing. Um, the Jeep's 10 years old, so it could have been on, on there for day one. Um, now, with gen just general cleaning and stuff, the Rhino Rack's actually held up really well. The seals are still really good, so whoever did the seals did a really good job. Finish them off, there's no leaks, there's no wind noise, there's nothing like that. It's a little bit faded, as you can see. They could probably do it with another paint up. Uh, none of the bolts and stuff are rusty. I know a lot of people um, look for that, which is a big thing for me. Rusty bolts, how the channels and stuff are holding up. Uh, obviously, I've placed that shackle in there, but these channels and stuff are holding up really well. All these rubber seals that probably came on the Jeep from new held up really well. Really impressed with that. Obviously, it's really faded, stuff like that, but you don't get that. Um, it's on it's on an outdoor car. Um, it is garage most of the time, but it's on a working outdoor car. One of the other things I really like as well, I love how you can take these end caps off and slide, like I've slid in, uh, I've slid these in. Uh, we had an awning on the Jeep when we first bought it. Now you got to do is take these out, these pop out, and all you got to do is slide in what you want, uh, bolt that back on, and it's a little bit of extra security as well, so people just can't come along. Slide your stuff out, um, steal it, and I love the little number adjusters on there, so you can see how far along uh, your roof racks need to be. And all in all, I'd probably give it a solid, off the price point, they are quite expensive, so I'd probably give it an, an eight and a half out of 10, I reckon. Uh, the build quality is really good. It's held up to a lot of abuse. As I said, we don't actually run a lot of weight on the rack itself. Um, the, un the only thing that's kind of dropped it down is probably the price point. Uh, if I'm having the extra payload up on the roof is a massive bonus, especially as I said, if you're doing big overland trips and stuff like that, you want that extra bit of weight on the roof. Just because um, if you're going to add some extra weight, I mean, everything adds up. By the time you add rooftop tent, uh, awning, whether it's a 360 degree awning, bat wing or something like that, they are heavy. And the more weight you put up there, you want a stronger rack. Um, those ones that just attach to the fiberglass, I think are just complete useless. If you can build something you, yourself, try and save the money, but for the money and the quality of the running rack, I'd say it's a solid eight and a half out of 10. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. If you like this video and you guys want us to do some more review videos, drop a comment down below. Um, I wouldn't mind doing some more review videos about the gear we've got on the Jeep, whether it be stuff, we've, um, stuff that was on the Jeep already or stuff that we're going to buy in the future. Let me know in the comments below. Um, also, smash that like button. It just tells YouTube you guys like my content and you want to see more of it, and it will suggest it to other people as well. And as always, don't forget the has. And as always, don't forget to smash the subscribe button as well. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Next week, we'll be adding some overhead storage to the back of the Jeep JK. So if you guys want to stay tuned for that video, hit that like and subscribe button so you guys stay up to date with all the videos. We'll see you guys next week.